We're going to take you through how to set up and do motion graph tests for your automata. All right, the first thing you're going to need to do, though, is you're going to have to get a couple of files, right? And this link will be in Google Classroom for you. But if your Google Classroom isn't working for some reason, you can just type them in. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go here to the automata. And this is one that's already built. And the reason we want to use this is so we can get the rulers, so we can measure real quickly. Here is the download. So you'll just click it and it'll download down here to the bottom just like normal after it downloads you're going to go, want to go to fusion and you'll find the folder that you want to do and you'll say upload and you'll just select the folder from your computer and upload it the upload could take a little bit now the two files that you're going to get are these two right here you're going to get the ruler step file and you're just going to get the automata that i made up for you guys so the first thing I'll do is I'm just going to double click where it says modified automata. So double click that and it'll load it up for us. While we're here, let's go ahead and put one of our cams in. So I'm going to take now I've already done these cams separately, which which we've already done as well. So we'll just take one and we're going to drag it over. Now, for now, I'm just going to kind of move this into position. So now you notice we made our square we made our square and the the axle the cam axle in this is round that's not going to be a major problem let's check out how to deal with that so I'm going to use joint I think I'm going to use this one here and then I'm going to come over here and click the center of that and let's rotate it around obviously it doesn't go there right I like to rotate mine so so that the furthest point from the radius is down. So now I'm gonna move this back into position here. And it's probably gonna be 0.125. So before I hit okay though, I wanna make sure that I scoot this thing into position. So I'm probably gonna use this view cube up here. That looks pretty good, now hit okay. I will go ahead and go up to assemble and I'll say tangent relationship. I'll click the bottom here, the follower, and then the guide, or excuse me, the cam itself, and hit OK. So there it is. Our cam is in place. I'm going to leave it on the front view. And there was another file we needed to get, too. So from our presentation, we need to go to this link. This is our automata graphs. And when you go there, it's going to ask you to make a copy. And you'll do that. So for the cam name, I'm going to type in elliptical cam. And now it says top of roller and top of follower. So I'm going to make sure we're at zero degrees. And I'm going to start getting some readings. So let's let's do that. Let's see if I can get a side-by-side -side of these two things. All right. So the top of the roller, this little thing right here, that's the roller. Okay, so we're looking at this line right here. All right, so if I look at that line, and we got to decide, do we want to do metric? Do we want to do inches? It's up to you how you want to do that. So let's do metric. So this is one and a half. Let's just go to the nearest half. So for the top of the roller, we're going to say 1.5. Let's look at the top of the axle now. There's 8. So there's 8.5. Alright, so let's do 8.5 for the top of the follower. Now I'll come back over here to drive joints and I'll say 30. Okay, so things move just a little bit. Let's say 1.567. So let's go 1.7. And the top here is there's 5, 6, 7. So let's say 8.7. Alright, and then let's say, alright, let's move the rotation over to 60. Okay, so we're looking here at the bottom, and that looks like it's right on two. So the top of the roller's on two. It looks like the top of the follower's right there at nine. So let's move up to 90. And it looks like down here we're back to two and a half. So I'll put a 2.5 here. And the top looks like 9.5. All right, let's move to 120. 120 here and let's read some here so there is three one two 
five. I'm gonna say three point two. Let's get that axle as well. Ten point one point two. I'd say ten point two there. Now let's move to one fifty now. So we'll come over here. All right, so I can kind of hang out in sheets now. So here's what I've got. I've got all my data now. So what I'll do now is I'm just going to select all of this data. And I'll go up to insert. And I'm going to say chart. Well, that's pretty intuitive of it. Okay, so the red nose and I, i'll just put it in here where it says insert motion graph here and kind of size it out a little bit if i want so the blue is the top of the roller and the red is the top of the follower and right up here where it says top of roller and top of follower i can just put elliptical all i did was click in there elliptical cam data and come right over here and center that so if we're looking for um, functions I can go down here to trend line put a trend line in I can show her R squared value I can also instead of label I can say use equation see it gives me an equation for that it tells me the equation of that function and it gives me the R squared value 